Alright, we're going to the sulfur act. Here we go. This is one of the classic instances. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be fun. This is a fun instance to do because it's I know long instance to not really interesting but not really. This one is because it has memorable pluses in it. And some optional ones as well. Most of the bosses in this one are optional. But if you want 100% the instance, you can go ahead and get them. And there's also a chance, it's, it's certain, in all the classic dungeons, and sometimes in raids, there's a chance for a rare version of foes to spawn, like this named one here is a rare, that spawns if you know. There's an always certain instance. It's time to hear certain rares. Yeah, another rare. Huh. And that rare is also existence from Dungeon 2. This is the room to the. This is the room to that one optional boss with the scarabs surrounding him. With all these beetles surrounding him. If you just kill the guy himself, the beetles won't attack you. The scarab beetles won't attack you if you just get him by himself. All the beetles surrounding them will not attack you if you're going just for the guy and boss himself. This one area has a lot of beetles everywhere. This is what the center of where all these beetles come from. Yeah, I didn't know there were hidden beetles back here until I realized that now. This is a maze. And these things spawn... there's also some foes that spawn from this. He also has a chest for you, which you can also get for additional loot. And that zombie, that mummy zombie head that spawn. Zombie head, yeah, zombie head spawns. Not only that you can get loot from this stuff, but foes spawn. Zombies or heroes can spawn in this every now and then. The heroes are rarer than the zombies. Most of the time when zombies that spawn into the sand. And sometimes they can spawn at the same time. Heroes, times the hero also spawns in with the zombie. Or separate. How many were there? Okay, now just two. There's a lot of these sand coffin things. 
hero and some. So fallen heroes. These ones are they are dead heroes. It's a shadow hunter. But sometimes shadow hunters patrol these areas on certain areas. Since it does have a lot of rares that spawn here, that's op even more optional rares that spawn here. There's a bunch of, there's like actually a lot of rares that spawn here. Oh. I'm kind of getting tired of this book. I know where all the bosses are. So I'm not lost. No, I'm not lost. I know where every boss is. It takes a while to get to them. Told you I didn't get lost. That one is a boss now. But there's the other one. But there's another boss that spawns from this. Godzilla spawns from this thing. Wow. Two optional bosses in the same area? Yeah, I know. It's strange how they put two optional bosses in one area. Oops. Oh, no, it's okay. All right. Oh, anyways, I got this from... From Ice Crown Citadel. In case of why I have suddenly have it now. In case of why, you know, why I have it, it's because I got I, it dropped from the Arthas. What, what time I was there? But you'll have to see the full instance for yourself another time. I'll show you. The, I'll show you all the full instance where this came from another time. Oh, okay. I'm getting, I'm getting towards another boss, optional boss that's here. He's back here, in this area. He spawns in as soon as you get close to his area. Of course, I'm not going to forget to take these guys out like here. I know there's also a, yes, I know there's a scrap beetle right here. I'm gonna take that out too. This one over here for good measures. I know it's supposed to be luck, but who's gonna, who's gonna tell me that? Not funny. Well, oh, I guess you guys. <laughs> Not funny. That was. Yes, I know. I can be hilarious. I, that's that's how I am. Yeah, yeah. That's that's how I am. To start the to get the next boss, to take out the next bosses, you have to take out this executioner right here, up here in this area. Let the executions begin. Yeah, that's where he yells out. Well, you first helped them out taking all these guys. Tree. 
get to it. All these guys spawn in the trudges and other stuff. Take out enough of these guys and then the two bosses here, following two bosses here spawn in. Along with now they spawn in with backup this time. These guys one's a, was a priest and the other is like a warrior, let's say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a warrior, okay. And there's also an optional fight here. With these with these four here, there's an optional This is an optional boss fight. Oh you could speak to this one to open the door. This this dude to open the door. Then these guys you can do an optional boss fight. See you later. Yes, this is the optional boss for you at tree. Kill the same ones that you just freed. Yeah. Yes, these guys have no oh, loot, I'm gonna. Yeah, there you go. This is, this is an optional. This is. It is an actual boss fight, so I have to loot them. There you go. Get has the. Yeah, you know, yes, I know, he's a cop. I'm gonna say that, okay. You can ask the Goblin Dude to open the door so that you can break your way to the final boss, which he also has support with him. This guy is not the chief. He is. Of course, he's the chief. His backup is. You, are, you know the name if I should show you like that. He has some guardians and. Abom he has guardians and abominations. Protect, supporting them as well. Here's a little trick I'm gonna show y'all. Oh no, no! If you have a certain, if you have certain abilities, you can get both of these guys killed at the same time, so you don't have to do it the individually. But I'm doing both at once. Please, never be mine. Yeah, there we go. That's Sulfurak. See you on the next video.